Hey, this is Ryan with Mission Darkness. Right now I'm gonna be showing you our Mission Darkness Forensic Crack Cabinet. Now this product is used in the mobile device forensic investigation process to keep devices charged, cooled, uh, locked, and organized after using password cracking tools such as GrayKey, Celebrite, XRY, or others. So I'm gonna show you the product and go over some of the main features. So the main thing that we'll see at first is that this cabinet is entirely clear. Now that's fantastic for keeping devices organized. You can see the device state, and then also, if you press the power button, which is central to all devices and is inside of a compartment so it can't be pressed accidentally, you'll notice that all device screens are activated at once. This is a really nice feature that allows you to know if a device has popped, if the password's been cracked, without having to open it and touch every single device. So we'll open the door here and notice that USB extension cables are routed from the outside side panel where we have our uh, USB hubs all the way through to the inside and then to the devices. Now we can have a capacity of 18 in its current configuration, 18 devices split among these shelves or 30. And that's just a function of how many hubs we have on the side. And currently we're using Anchor hubs, all top quality. The most important thing that we want with devices under password cracking operations is to make sure that they are cooled and that they are sufficiently charged. The reason why is if we don't have those factors in place adequately, the device's processor can slow down, effectively increasing the time that it takes to crack the password. So maybe a device that under the best conditions might take a week, two weeks, a month, could take multiple months, could take a year, it just really depends. But we want the devices to be in an optimal state for this to go as fast as possible. So the power is routed from the side over, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, and then on this side, we have the fan controller. So the fan controller, when twisted, increases the speed of the fans. And we have Noctua fans in here, all of the best components. And we can turn it all the way up to max capacity, which is going to uh, put air inside of the compartment from that fan and draw it out from here, which gives us full airflow on every shelf. And then we can turn it down to a minimum. If we're in a cooler room, um, there's a noise factor there. There's various reasons why we may want to tune it. On the same side, we have a device that notifies the administrator of the cabinet, or the forensic investigator, if the entire cabinet loses power. So this has a battery inside, if power is lost, it instantly sends emails or text messages to notify you that, hey, something's going on here, power was lost. If the power is tripped for any reason, it's going to notify you that that's the case. Now, because the forensic crack cabinet is not RF shielded, some investigators like to use uh, our charge and shield Faraday bags combined with the cabinet. We designed the cabinet so one shelf can fit one or two charge and shield bags, which are purchased separately, um, which are used by way of a device being connected on the inside using the supplied cables to the filter on the inside. And then the filter here is connected to one of the USB extension cords where power is supplied from the outside. So a tip would be uh, included. You would connect that to the extension and then the charge and shield bag can sit on a shelf. And this allows the uh, device inside just to be organized, charged, cooled, just like any other device, except this will remain shielded. Each USB extension cable, which correlates to the capacity of the cabinet, so either 18 or 30, each one includes three separate cable tips. That's going to be micro, lightning, or USB-C. So that means you're going to have cable tips for virtually any device encountered uh, at the capacity that you need. Now on this side, we'll notice that we have the USB hubs. As we mentioned before, these are anchor hubs currently with six devices per hub. Those are mounted to the side. USB extension cables are routed in through the shelves, and those hubs are all routed to a central power hub, which is connected by way of a C13, C14 connection down here. So this is great because this is universal. You can get different lengths of cords. You can also uh, get an international cord if you're located in another country and the entire unit is built to support from 110 power up to 240 power. So there's no need to purchase individual uh, options if you're located in a foreign country that supports above 110 power. Okay, that's it for the Mission Darkness Forensic Crack Cabinet. Thanks for checking it out. As always, please let us know if you have any questions, send us an email or call us, and we'd be happy to answer.